Hello everyone! Today I will show you the latest cool features recently added in Visuino. I will start with a brand new clean virtual machine. There is not even Arduino IDE installed. So we'll go ahead and install the new Visuino. I'll just quickly go through the installation. The installation is complete. As you can see, we still have the send to Arduino and upload buttons here. However, down here we have some new tabs. Let's explore. The first tab is the build tab. As you can see, as soon as Visino starts, it will start installing all the necessary Arduino libraries. If they are already installed, this step will be skipped. However, usually when you start it for first time, it will go ahead and download the libraries. It is important at this point to be connected to internet so Visuino can download all the Arduino support. This installs support only for the basic Arduino boards. We will see how Visuino handles other types of boards. All the Arduino AVR packages have been installed. Once the installation is completed, the buttons here will become enabled and Arduino Uno will show as board under boards. If we click on this button, we can see all the installed supported boards under the AVR board group. If I decide to change the board type here as example to Mega, you will see that the build functionality automatically will configure itself. Here we can select if we decide different board. However, usually Visuino will suggest the right board for your project. We can enable or disable verbose. We can select COM port where to upload. We'll do that shortly. We can use this button to compile the project and our project is compiled. We can also see timestamps for each of the messages as they arrive from the compilation. If you would like to see verbose output, we can use this checkbox and see the verbose output. Now I will show you how Visuino can handle ESP8266. For this, we'll create a new project. We will use ESP Copter, which is 8266 based drone, designed specifically for makers. It has gyroscope, accelerometer and compass on board, RGB light and four motors for the blades. For now, we'll just work with one of the motors. As soon as I selected ESP Copter, Visuino discovered that it's missing the ESP8266 libraries and it's downloading them from the internet. Make sure if you select a new type of board to have internet connection so Visuino can find and download the board support from the internet. The download and the installation will take a while, so please be patient. We can even monitor the timestamp of the events. Another cool feature of Visuino is that multiple lines will be combined together when the terminal sends back only carriage return without new line. This is very often used to show the progress of downloads. The Visuino has a very neat terminal display that groups all of them together. So if you decide, you can see all of the progresses broken line by line or with their corresponding timestamps or you can simply combine them 
and see the progress as well as the final result. The installation is complete and now we can start programming the ESP8266. And here it is, the board has appeared and you can see that now we have not only AVR boards but all the ESP8266 boards populated. We also have variety of options, upload speed, memory, frequency and everything else. Visuino will automatically populate the default recommended values. There are two other tabs here in Visuino. The first tab is the Platforms tab. If we click here, you will see all the available Arduino platforms and you can see that AVR boards and ESP8266 have already been installed. We can manually install or uninstall board support or we can change to a different older version. Visuino will automatically download the latest version if you select a board that does not have its support installed through the board's manager or platforms manager as it is called in Visuino. Now that we have our board ready to be programmed, we can go ahead and add a sign generator to control one of the motors. We can also connect the thermometer to control the onboard temperature for the accelerometer, gyro and compass. For the sign generator I will put a smaller amplitude because I don't want the drone to fly. So amplitude and offset will be 0.3 so we'll have values from 0 to 0 0.3 going to the motor where 1 is the full speed and if I send a value of 1 it is highly likely that the drone will try to fly off the table. I will also reduce the frequency to 0 0.1. I will select the COM port where the drone is connected. Select the same COM port here. We will leave connect on upload. By the way, once when you make all those changes, you can check this box and all the settings here will be saved inside your project, including the COM port. Next time when you open the project, everything here will be automatically populated for your project. The same applies for the serial port. If you select this button, all of the settings for the serial port will automatically be saved in your project and next time you open the project all of this will be populated automatically for you. This makes it much easier to work with many different projects and many different boards. Now I'll go ahead compile and upload the code. The project is compiled and now we are uploading. Again, you can see the new functionality combining new lines during the progress. And you can see the temperature of the drone, which appears to be 21 degrees exactly. And you can see the propeller ramping up and down. Again, this is very simple project. I just wanted to demonstrate you the new functionality of Visuino automatically installing board support or platform support as well as compiling and uploading the code without the need of Arduino IDE ever being installed on the system. To show you that the new automatic installation works not only for ESP8266, I will quickly do an ESP32 project. Again, we'll do a new project, select 
M5 stack stick C board which is an ESP32 board and you can see that the installation process starts immediately. The installation is complete and all of the board upload information is populated. You can see that the ESP32 support is now also installed together with the AVR in ESP8266. And ESP32 has appeared in the list of installed platforms. We can filter to only the installed three platforms. Now we can go back to build and we can start developing our project. For this project I will use the display. I will set the display to right. If we discover that it is upside down I can quickly change the orientation to left. In the display I will add a text field element. For the element, I will set a size of 4, so we will have big font, big numbers, and I will set it at position 10, 10, to be slightly more toward the center of the screen. Now I will connect the thermometer to the field, select the COM port where stick C is connected, Compile and upload the code. The code is compiled and now we are uploading. And we have successfully uploaded the project. And you can see that the temperature inside our stick C is around 42 point something degrees. So obviously our stick C is warming up even here today under the California sun. Once support for certain board type or platform such as ESP32 or ESP8266 has been installed, no new installation will happen if you select any of the associated boards. I will quickly demonstrate you this. I will select ESP8266 board and you will see that Visuino will not need to go and download support for this board. The same will happen if I select any of the ESP32 boards. As example, one of the Heltec, let's say LoRa board. Vizuino knows that the support for this type of board is already installed and it does not need to go and download support for the board. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation of all the new great features that I have added in Vizuino. And you stay tuned, download, use Vizuino, click the like button and subscribe to my channel.